We are at the Decorative Concrete Expo 2024 in Canton, Ohio. Is the Pro Football Hall of Fame is right down there. Is the Hall of Fame Stadium right there where they play the Hall of Fame game. This is an amazing complex. We're gonna go in and check out the show. Morning. Check. Good. What do you got? No cameras and all kinds of stuff. Are you a vendor? No, I'm our guest of uh, Jason. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Thank you. All right, so we're in a dome, so that the doors have to be closed at all times because this thing's held up by air. So right now, we'll just take a walk around, check things out, show you what we got here. So there's all kinds of concrete artisans here doing all kinds of different things. Put the dimples in it. So anybody got any ideas? Come on over and give me some dimple. If anybody has a real football that she can use for a stamp, just bring it over here. So, about a half out. A little too little, she said. Use the water bottle. Looking good, Jason. Looking good, buddy. Everybody's in the beginning stages of their projects, so we'll have to come back later on the day tomorrow to see all the finished products. All types of different decorative concrete things going on. I see you on YouTube. Oh, uh, yeah. How you doing? <laughs> good. What's good. your name? Uh, Burnham Concrete. Burnham oh, Concrete. Yeah. 35 miles south of Chicago. Yeah. On the line, Indiana. We work both Indiana and Illinois. Yeah. Yeah. Over there. Yeah. yeah. Great. You yeah. drove here then, huh? Yeah. 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 Well, it's only a six hour ride. Yeah. The only job I've ever had is pouring concrete. Yeah. Well, with my grandfather and pouring concrete. I, you know how it gets. You just like either love it or hate it. Right. And it was like. Yeah. Definitely yeah. yeah. I get done with my bids, I'm like, oh, I'll watch you guys. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, you just pour it all day. Now oh. you want to watch that. I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> well, uh, yeah have a good one. All right, nice, nice to meet you. Okay, have nice a good talk year. Here. You too. What's <laughs> Ronaldo? Yeah, yeah, been following you for a while. Oh, how you doing? Yeah. What are they doing here? Just putting a little wood plank look around the, yeah. with a broom and then just texturing the middle. 
that's a great sign. You can do it in second goal. This is pretty nice in here. Did you go yes. last year too? No, this is my first time here. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. My first time. Checking out your manual for sure. Alright, man. We'll That's see you in a little bit. Yeah, yeah. 11 o'clock. Nice Day two of the Decorative Concrete Expo. It's in the morning. We're going to go and check out all the concrete artisans, see how the projects are coming along this morning, and then we'll come back tonight check out the finished products so. Ca cameras cell phone oh that looks harmless <laughs> okay thank, thank you, you. <laughs> Alright, here we go again. Let's go check it out. Not over this way today. Looks like quite a bit going over here on over here where, where Ben Bass is. He's doing some overlays and he's doing some staining and stuff like that. So he's using all of uh, deco creeps different types of overlays, did some broom finish down there, did some trial finish, did some stamp finish. Looks pretty cool. Or Joe? Hey, how are you? Pretty good. Alright, so again using uh Deco Creeks bag mix with overlays here. These guys are just showing how to do different textures, different finishes over concrete to either make it decorative or repair it. They're doing a wood plank finish right there with a hand towel. Like they did a wood plank finish over here with a broom. Vertical carving, it's amazing. Kinds of metallic finishes. Again, using all Deco Creek products. There's a plate, plate finish over there. Is something we do a lot of. Here's the. This is the set of decorative stairs we were looking at yesterday a little bit. So Jason's going to show how to cut a joint in the stairs, and then they're also routing the face, filling all the little pinholes. Got the bonding agent on, he's mixing up the grout right there, he's just gonna rub that in the face, kinda like what it looks like on the top one. Can I shake your hand, sir? Oh, hey, how you doing? I watch a lot of your videos. Oh, what's your name? Cutler. Cutler. Where are you from? Nice to meet you. I'm from here, I'm pretty oh, local. Yeah, cool. It's about an hour out. So. Yeah, yeah, great. Awesome, man. Cool to see you. Yeah. What do you do sure. mainly? Do a lot of flat work, man. Yeah. I mean, yeah, flat work. We're getting into more and more decorative, though. Yeah. Um, if you're doing a big patch like this, and you want it to set up faster, like, if I was doing this on the job, I would put some, like, uh, cement all you guys. All right, Kyle, I'm going to. Yeah, have a good one. Man. Have a good one, you too. Hey. All right, so here we had the, the stencil drawn out, scored the lines, doing some acid staining. And they've got it to. Uh, Looks like they've got it to just about where they want it and they've got to put some sealer on it. So we're going to come back and check that out a little bit later. Doing some stamping over here. Let's go check that out.
I love watching your videos. Oh, cool, man! Thanks. All I all I do is the is the flat work, but you've answered. I kind of I kind of got up in the industry the hard way. Like the guy that I work for never taught me. He just yep. said, "Hey, tear it out. We're putting it back." Yeah. And I've been I've been wanting to meet you for the last couple of years, but yeah. I follow all your stuff. Just to it's really nice to be able to like, oh, it's not that hard. And, oh, <laughs> it's not as difficult as it you know. And yep. It's just to me, it's the hard part is trying to find people that have it. Like what I just asked is finding the people that have the answers for the questions that like my customers have. Like, yeah. You know, I would say if you're going to go out on your own, just start with doing what you know the best, mm -hmm. what you can make the most money with right off quick, mm -hmm. what you're going to have the less callbacks doing, and then just slowly implement this other stuff. I mean, that's what I did. I even know how to hey, do it was that. Good to meet you. Nice talking to yeah, you. I'll, uh, Call me anytime you get a question. Okay, thank yeah. you. Appreciate yeah. that. How you doing? Hey, Mr. good. Mr. Mike. I'm Jim Isaac. Hey, nice to meet yeah. you, Jim. Watch yeah. it all the time. Oh, on, uh, awesome. Uh, I'm Jamie. Oh, Jamie, nice, nice to meet you. You're the reason I come here, man. <laughs> really? Yeah. Where are you guys from? We're from uh, out north, uh, Cincinnati. Oh, okay. North yeah. of Cincinnati. It's Ohio. Yeah. 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 So what do you do mostly? Just flat work. Yeah. Like. Big stuff, little stuff? Uh, swimming pools mostly. Oh, wow. Well. decks and stuff. Yeah. yeah all Mind if I get a picture? Oh, yeah. no. Yeah. <laughs> awesome, man. Yeah. Yeah. guys ever get a chance to come to Maine yeah. make sure you look me up that's one of my uh, one yeah. of my uh, things I've been wanting to do for my wife you know? yeah I'll show you around a little bit yeah, yeah nice, nice, nice to talking you. to you nice yeah all right yeah. nice meeting you. See, you. see ya it's pretty cool when you get to talk to people that you know either that I've seen you online maybe you've helped a little bit somehow and you don't even know that you helped them and they they just uh, thank you for that that's that's pretty cool stuff these guys are doing sustaining. That project's looking really, really good. If you remember that yesterday, they had just started. Looks like they've got it pretty much all stained now. I don't know if they're going to seal it or what they're going to do. Looks really good. Still got some staining going on over here. More decorative stuff over here. Looks like they need a looks like a softball well let me know what you guys think of all these projects and if there's something that you like more than something else something you'd like to try something you'd like to get into um, deco Crete has a lot of different products that you can try a lot of training going on and you know if you want to expand what you currently do this is the company to get involved with right here and they have all the contacts for all these other artists here, a lot of them do their own training where you can just go learn right from them directly. That would be a pretty cool thing to do. Hey, hey, how's it going, buddy? Friday morning. I think they get down around three today. 
So we'll have to come back and check it out, you know, maybe 2.30ish, just to see how everything's going. This is the revive, so we got old concrete. We need to make it all look uniform, make it look new again. Their product revive is what that's for. Alright, Friday, late Friday. Show's closing. We're gonna go to take one last look. All the projects should be finishing up. Let's see what the finished product looks like. Alright, let's go take one final look. See you guys later. Good to see, you. see ya. Alright. Overlays, the staining, ceiling. Mike, you been around all day? I ain't seen you. How you doing? I've been I've been here and there. Yeah, yeah. Here and there, yeah. yeah. Okay, let me get a picture. <laughs> Alright, so this is football. This is the vertical carbon stuff. Looks really cool. Again, this is these are all products that DecoCrete sells here. So if it's something you're interested in, you can you can get them through decocrete.com. They sell all these epoxies. Pallets come out really good. Looks like they did a bunch of samples over here. Crazy some of the things you can do with those. Here's Rick Lobdell and his staining. What do you guys think of that? So he he drew that out, sawed all those joints, engraved it, freehand stained all that. Looks really good. Let's go down and look at some of the stamping. Looks really nice. Regular concrete, just smooth border, texture stamps, and that's. Deco Crete has a stamp like that. You can stamp that emblem right in the middle, north, south, east, west. You can see that. That's really cool. And then they just showcase some more of their stamps over here. Let me know which ones you guys like the best. That barn board border like that is pretty cool. I like that. This thing came out really cool. You guys like this? I like that. Nice. That is amazing. Some really talented people here. Well, let me know what you guys think of all these projects and that you like more than something else. Let me know which ones you guys like the best.